It's time for lunch and whatnot. So it's almost time to bring up um, our private chef, which right. uh, many of you have not had a chance to meet yet, Adi. Um, Adi's his last name. You're going to get to know him. Adi's going to be a little superstar around here. Before he really you know. is. Especially he after, is with us, uh, but... Especially after today. Today's lunch that Adi's provided for us has a little special meaning, not only for kind of the time of year. It's very festive. It is. It's a festive it's, um, animal. We're going to teach everyone how you could really blow your families away by cooking this dish for the holidays but it also has a really special meaning um for symmetry so he's going to bring out in a second a turducken what is a turducken well a turducken is a turkey a duck and a chicken all together it's almost like a turkey ate a duck who ate a chicken it's kind of gross when you think about it but well it is and i don't (laughs) think that that would actually happen it could i guess but and then there's some stuff on the insides too so there is i think so there's some stuffing we're gonna learn i guess yes we are um we started actually surprising our agency owners when they would just become agency owners Mm -hmm. uh with the turducken gosh it's probably been five years ago six years ago yep they just get a random box in the mail and it's a frozen turducken it's a frozen turducken and they love it and i gotta be honest we really haven't. Maybe we've tasted one. We've tasted one, we and it was kind of tainted. Do you remember when we tasted I one? I think so. We tasted one for Griff Martin's bachelor party <laughs> many years it, ago. Yeah. We cooked it. We ate it. And that did not end well. We needed Chef Adi in, in that room, I think. We definitely needed Chef Adi uh, for that one. So maybe we should... Uh, without let's see how he does it. Let's, let's take a look. Actually, I think we have a video first. Show that video. <laughs> Yes. Today we're making a turduck, a turkey stuffed with a chicken and a duck. I've already deboned my turkey, deboned my chicken. I'm breaking down the duck. We're basically going to be layering stuffing in between each of the birds. So the stuffing, I took just some leftover day old bread, toasted a little bit of olive oil and some leftover cornbread. Fresh thyme, fresh sage, salt, pepper, and then Trinity, which is like the staple vegetable combination for stuffing in Cajun cuisine in New Orleans. Turkey, stuffing, chicken, stuffing, and then the rest of the duck. For the duck layer, there's so much fat on a duck that it can make the inside really greasy, so I've gone ahead and I'm just using the breasts and the thighs. Well, I am a chef, I, it's weird stuffing a bird within a bird, within a bird. Um, all right. Now we're trussing the turkey together, and we're gonna hopefully bring it all together and have a turkey-shaped Turduck. It's like it's like wrapping a bunch of animals in an animal jacket. And now, if I did this right, it looks like a turkey. Diamond salt, the chef's choice. All right, and now I'm gonna transfer it. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt and season it. And I'm gonna let this sit overnight, roast it in the oven at 375 for four hours. And well, that's how you make a turducken. If you're an aspiring home cook, go ahead and give it a shot. And that was awesome. Let's uh, let's welcome Adi. Come on in. Oh my goodness, look at this. Whoa, baby. That looks awesome, Adi. Man, are those, what is that? Just potatoes, potatoes. it just looks nice. I thought that was olives for a second. Look at this, Adi. It smells great too. Yeah, it does. You're just gonna grab a, a turkey turkey leg? Well, I was gonna slice it. Oh, slice it. Ooh. So I figure we can slice it and hopefully we'll get a nice cross section and then we've got- Let's, uh, let's talk for one second about that knife too because I've had some questions about it. Yeah. Um, what is it? It's a, uh, it's a t- uh, what is it? Nine and a half inch Gyotu, which is a Japanese chef's knife. Uh-huh. It's uh, made by Yu Kurosaki out of Aichison, Japan. Ooh. He's part of this like really small collective of knife makers that use like traditional forging methods. Um, he makes his own steel. So like this is, what is it? Sounds like the sword maker on Kill Bill. It's kind of similar? Pretty much. I mean, this is, yeah, it's, it's like his own blend, hand stamps, hand does everything, everything stamped with his initials in the blade. It's they're the best knife I've ever owned. It's, it's a slippery slip though, I'll tell you that. All right, so what have we got here? 
So you got to turn into that bird. Man, let's birds. cut into that sucker. Birds. All right, let's see how this cut into those birds. Out. We were wondering earlier what were what what were you using to tie it all together? Was it? Um, it's just you know standard twine. Um, do we have a plate? Cooking twine. Yeah, there's mm. a plate down there. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm hitting some of that. Look at that. Mm. That looks great. Oh wow, it actually turned out. <laughs> <laughs> we're hitting a bunch of the bone down here because I left some of the wing in, but. So we've given away how many turduckins do you think we've Man. we've given away over the years? Mm, probably in the hundreds. Yeah, maybe 150. Yep. Maybe maybe 175. We have about 205 agency owners. Some of them were were. Um, Hmm. They they didn't get the benefit of getting a turducken. They I got know. here too. Early. They were they were pre turducken, right? PT. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Linwood requested bear, so we didn't send <laughs> him a turducken. He got a bear. Let's get a bite of this thing. I'm yeah. getting hungry. Oh, here we go. Mm hmm. It's, I like it. It's definitely a project. I'll say that. It's such a great little holiday uh, gift. So for all of you that saved your turduckens over the years. Now seems like the perfect time to get in. Look at that. Let's get in there. Let's see what these agency owners are, are putting in their mouth. Did we ever send you a turducken? Mm -mm. I know, mm. I, I feel like we... Oh man. But yeah, and then that's lunch for everybody in the office tomorrow, so they'll be happy. Mm-hmm, pretty good. That's you amazing. Eating well. So Kevin Purdy, what does a turducken symbolize to you? When you received it for becoming an AO, all your hard work. First off, did you even receive a turducken, or were you bef did you become an AO before? I'm before turducken. Yeah. Which one of y'all got a turducken, Ganey? Sure did. It was delicious too. What did it mean to you? I want to hear Javon too. I believe it was the official stamp that yes, you are an agency owner. Our Ooh. turducken is your stamp of approval. I was led to believe it symbolized uh, leading from the front. Like the turkey? The turkey was leading from the front? That's the turkey mm -hmm. leading from the front. you got to be a good leader and a good follower so you can be the, the turkey and the chicken. Right? Building, so having others to follow. So that'll be the duck. I think the, the building is the duck, you know, follow the mm -hmm. duck. And, um, okay. and so, so personal development. So I don't think that's probably the chicken. No, that's one of them. <laughs> I think, yeah, the chicken might symbolize personal development somehow. I like that. It was that. a stretch for us, too, when we yeah. started sending them out. Maybe it symbolizes a hierarchy, right? There's there's three in the hierarchy there. Um, I think Brad paid the UPS driver because as soon as it was delivered, Brad was on the phone telling me that it's real. Don't look at a snapshot. It's real. I got it turductive. And that's all I cared about. That's good. It is a rite of passage to become an agency owner in our company. Yes. That's good. Mm. Good Thank job, you, Audie. Man, good turducken, man. man. Way to feed that the office tomorrow, too, man. I'll tell That's you awesome. what. Maybe we could um, get a recipe for this sucker. Well, actually, we did enough of the recipe on the video, right? right? Well, yeah. And I mean, we can always, I can always write something down. We can pop something up. And... All right, write something out. We'll pop it up. Y'all give Audie a hand. pretty good that was you great know, i'm not a, a, a huge fan of of turkey you gotta cook it right you gotta cook it just right and he cooked it just right and included a duck and a chicken That's and a whole bunch of stuffing well done Audie. i can't get one bird right he just got all three right <laughs>